Welcome to the No Budget Independent Filmcast, where we dip our toes into the independent film universe so that you don't have to. Will you agree with our panel of fantastic hosts, or will they agree with each other? I am Milo Dennison, and joining me as always are Claire Milan. Hello. And Kahal Fini. Hello. Okay, Claire, what's on the menu today? So this week we're reviewing a short film called Negative Space. It's a stop motion film directed by, and this is a really hard name to pronounce, Ru Kuwahata <laughs> and Max Porter. <laughs> so, uh, so it's about a boy who connects with his father by learning how to pack a suitcase. Uh, it was it, it was nominated for an Oscar. It was shortlisted for an animation Oscar in 2017. I, I came across it kind of by an accident as a more films. I thought it was such a cute, simple story. It's it's based on a poem, uh, a poem by Ron uh, Corgi, I think his surname is. But it's it's a really it's a really 150 word poem. Um, and the the directors came across the poem and approached the the poet and asked them could they make a stop motion short uh, I just thought it was it was so beautiful and um, yeah really 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 loved it um, yeah I, I don't know what you guys think yeah um, uh, I was wondering like so with the poet is it did his dad actually die and this was like a poem he wrote about his actual father i'm curious what his inspiration was for it because the film yeah. i didn't know that it was by uh, until you sent us the thing that it was by a poet but prior to that i thought maybe the filmmaker that was what the film was about is kind of a love letter to a dead you know father or something like that i wonder so i know uh, rue the the director her father was a pilot and he would travel a lot so i think when she came across this poem it really connected with her um, so, but I, I'm not sure about the poet. I'm not sure if um, he's if he must have been influenced by something. You know, he must have had a father who had maybe was away all the time, who travels a lot. And um, but I just thought it, it, the, the way it was done, it, it took them like um, I think two years to make, and in, intensively nine months. But so for every five seconds um, of of the film, it took them a whole day like 12 to 13 hours, 12 to 14 hours in like a really dark room. So if you think about it, like, so every five seconds, I think it's five minutes, 40, the whole short, that's so five, every five seconds is one day's work, you know? So it's, so it's, uh, it's fine. It's, the, 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 it's, it's so labor intensive, slow motion, or the stop motion. Um, it's, it, and it's, and the fact it worked for, on this for two years, um, for well, when it looks such a simple, you know, stop motion thing. It's, I just, I thought it was, it leaves an impression on you. You know, if anyone had a dad who travels a lot, I think it resonated, it resonated with a lot of people. Um, I just, yeah, I was just really, really impressed with it. And you can see why it was nominated for an Oscar as well. Well, that, that's the thing, particularly when you watch stop motion, is that you're, you're apart from the actual story, you're always very impressed by the, the technical achievement of it. And, Unlike a sort of a, a live action sort of film, that there's so much attention to detail required. Like every every character, everything in the background, every piece of furniture, or uh, you know, the, the, the tiniest thing. You know, it's it, it, it does require. You know, as you say, like there's there's so much goes into it, and and it was very it's very inventive as well. The kind of the, the scene where it kind of you see him driving along, and then he's. He's just opening the zip on a on a bag or something like that. That was very well done. Um, there was. It's interesting. I didn't know that now uh, about the director. That you say that her father was a pilot and that he was away a lot. You know that would kind of make sense. And there was one scene that sort of struck me in this film, uh, and it, it was the mother when the mother appeared on the stairs when he was leaving. And she's not a character. She's she's kind of a secondary character in all of this. But he he said that um, like the mother she didn't have the knack or something, and you just see her coming down the stairs, you know, with a fag in her mouth, and then the dad walks out, and that seems to me that 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 little scene there, like just spoke volumes about their relationship, you know, that uh, maybe he was away a lot, or maybe sort of the marriage, like the sort of the love that came out of the marriage, and it was just kind of functional, and they're staying together for the kid, or you know, it, it just it just. Um, 
it just and even the way he looked at her, you know, it was just like you know, you're you you you're not important anymore or something like that. But it was so, very impressive uh, um, stop motion where you mentioned about they're, they're in a taxi and then the taxi turns into the zip. I just thought mm-hmm. that was brilliant. Do you know, just the way it moved and then you see the clothes and the way they're they're kind of the stop motion, the clothes, and at one stage it turned into like um like the sea and the waves and him being smothered by the clothes. And the fact he he's so small as well in one one scene, he fits in the suitcase and the father is so big. So it's kind of referenced like that the father is a big figure in his life during that time, you know. And, but it, I just thought it was it was so inventive, little things like that. Like to take the poem and, and and to make this stop motion. Yeah, those scene transitions were brilliant with how they mixed it in and told the stories within each scene of exactly like the kid going into the suitcase and then coming out and all that kind of stuff was just really wonderful. And it was funny because I had the same thing when I saw the lady with the mom with the with a cigarette in her mouth. And it was kind of like, okay, so this clearly says something about the relationship. And it kind of it made you think like it it you know took place back in you know 60s or 50s where you just kind of had that standard family of like the dad was off work and the mom was stuck at home and you know and they didn't really get along and just kind of were stuck together and the the kid that was his own only relationship with his father uh was really nice at the time yeah At um the youtube comments you know it's it's freely available on youtube this film and just people's to tell their stories about their father being away working you know so it seemed to have resonated with a lot of people as well and also a, a lot of relationships between families, particularly, that it's there's a sort of there's, it's based around a, a common interest or something like so it could be sport or it could be politics. You know, they never they talk about things and they build a relationship around this, you know, this this commonality between them. And uh, uh, like for instance, it, it, since it was packing suitcases, you know, but they never they never talk about their feelings, you know, which is which is the way it should be, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I got. I did read the comments, and I don't, not really read. I didn't read very many of them, but uh, one of them was um, about there's sort of a double meaning to the the waste of space at the end. Uh, and it's funny because watching that scene, I, I, I can't tell myself. I think I've seen this film before, and um, and when I got to that scene, just before that scene, I kind of thought myself, I know what he's going to say here, you know. So I, I kind of must have seen it, and people are saying that. Is it a commentary on his on his entire life? Like you know, I don't know. I don't know if you have the expression in America, but we we can have it here that if somebody's useless, we say, you know, what a waste of space. You know, they're a waste of space. So um, that he that his life, you know, that it was there was so much more he could have done, or he could have filled it with instead of being obsessed with just packing a suitcase. You know? Yeah, it's interesting. I, I... I sometimes question that kind of stuff where there's something well done, like in a book or a movie, and then people interpret it a little bit too much into it that wasn't necessarily there in the beginning. Uh, but it would make sense. Yeah, we do have that comment, that uh, that phrase in the U.S. We call him uh, Mr. President right now. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, huh, get uh, it? Uh, yeah. I'll, in, I'll insert a, a drum, a little drum clap there at, at the end of my joke. Did it? All right. <laughs> Well, you you know, you, it's usually one of us who's the first person to mention that guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we, the guy who shall not be named. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I presume it's a pretty common phrase, you know. I mean, I don't really think so. I mean, I think it was just a gag, you know, at the end. Because uh, like, there is such a thing as gallows humour and, uh, you know, you kind of make a bit of it. I, I just love films like this. I love stories where there is a de- you can have a debate about something like this. Do you know, it could be just... They just well, that's it. There's no meaning into it. But it, I love the way they've kind of opened up for discussion. Do you know that that there's space to use the pun <laughs> mm-hmm. to, for discussion? Do you know? So I I just yeah, it was it was it was very sad. Like I think it left good imp- like it left an impression on me afterwards. You know, it was just it left an impression on me because next time I am packing, I'm gonna go back to that video and uh, <laughs> I get a few hints out of it. You know. Yeah, I never thought about they describe like a belt like a snake, you know, like it's, I never thought about packing belts like that. Do you know the way because the way to pack the belt is all uh, is kind of like all around the edge yeah. of the suitcase. It's true because um, I usually just kind of roll mine up into like a little roll and put it in there. But I'm going to try that next time as well. Put it around the edge like that. I, I just thought at the start that <laughs> I love the way the clothes folded themselves. 
do you know? And it's like, it just, and it was so cute because you had like little Apple Mac, top, Mac laptop and little underwear and the socks and I just, on the shirts. And then the, the, they're putting the shirts that would crease um, on top of the cotton and putting the plastic bag then and the shoes. Yeah. It was just, it was so well animated. Like the, the detail in, in even it, looking the clothes, you know, and um, even later on when they're, they're, there's a gathering and they have little, little pieces of food, you know, and they're, they're eating the food, the little strawberries. Did you notice the little sandwiches, Claire? Yes. <laughs> they were so cute. <laughs> and uh, but they were, I know the filmmakers, and I saw an interview with them. Um, they said that was the toughest scene to film as well, because it, obviously there's so much stop motion in that scene, the gathering. You know, and it's, um, yeah, I just, so impressed. And the fact it was they were two years making this, um, you know, you, you just, I was really impressed with, um, with people who, who make these, these animations. One more thing I must point out, the voiceover was really, really well done as well. Like the, I'm not sure what actor did the voiceover, but it was just really well, you know, I just loved the tone of it. Like it was, it was just, it was really well kind of cast, you know, for this type of piece. Yeah, absolutely. Albert Bernie mm-hmm. is what's, I've never heard of him. Mm-hmm. Looks like he's done a few, few small things. Hmm. Okay, so ratings? Um, yeah, I'd give it four out of five because five out of five would have to be something that absolutely blows me away. And this is brilliant, but it's, yeah, I'll give it four out of five. Mm. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to wait for a while out if I, because I don't yeah. have to place this vote based on what I vote. <laughs> oh, see, I usually wait till last. I know uh, you do. I, I'm going to go three and a half. Uh, it's nice, it's cute, but the story didn't work for me, and it could be because. Uh, you know, I don't know. I I don't have a decent relationship with my family or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it just felt too. It it felt like it tried too hard to to pull on the heartstrings for me. But all so all the whole three and a half is based on the stop motion animation. The quality of it uh, is what really worked it for me. I'll give it four. Uh, no, no half. Were you gonna no. do? Th- were you gonna do three and a half? But then change. Oh, I wasn't mind, actually. No, I, no. I was hoping you'd do four, so I could do four. You know, and then uh, it's a clean <laughs> four all round. No, I, I, I thought it was, you know, amazingly well done. Uh, some, as you say, the sort of transition between scenes was was very clever, and uh, it was a nice little story too. Um, so yeah, a worthy four. Sweet. Well, there you have it. No budget film cast audience take a look at it as always i'll throw the link into the show notes so you can click on it watch the film let us know what you thought via a comment or just reaching out to us on social media at no budget show and with that we will say see you next time goodbye goodbye Show your ID now to get multivitamins. Just normal vitamins. Yeah, isn't that mad? That's crazy. So it's like I, four. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they're treated the same as alcohol. Isn't that crazy? Why? Because if you yeah. do too many of them, you'll get drunk. I don't know. Like, because you know the way, like you're just scanning the stuff. It's still service. Mm-hmm. Um, the little down here, but it was like it it, it 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 stopped. You know the thing, and you wanted to come over, and I just prove I was over twenty five. You know. Oh. But anyway. <laughs> You have to be over 25 to buy vitamins. Yeah.